What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of Into the Flu. Today's episode, I'm going to open up a sealed display box from the Chamber of Secrets. It looks like this. I'm sure some of you have seen it, or maybe you haven't. Uh, so in this box, you'll find the twin starter decks. Uh, they're really, really cool. They got a lot of uh, great art and unique cards that you wouldn't be able to find opening up booster boxes. Uh, so I'm going to open this up as well as each one of the uh, starter decks. I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned and we'll see what's inside. All right, everybody, let's start. So this is the Chamber of Secrets theme deck from Wizards of the Coast, of course. And um, this here inside has two different types of starter decks. Um, so it has the potions, um, which would be Percy Weasley, as well as the twins theme deck. So let's jump in and see what they look like. Now, I don't keep this wizard's uh, sealed stuff. I know that some people do. Uh, I personally don't. I know others have also used it to reseal items. So I don't really like, you know, keeping it uh, intact personally because I think that that's messed up. So that's one thing from this company that I do not keep uh, around. All right, so here we go. Again, the art just super cool with this. So it shows the burrow. Uh, that's like the whole art, uh, what it looks like. Uh, absolutely love that. And we open it up and this is what the starter decks look like. So we've got one Percy Weasley Potions deck. And that's what the back looks like. And the other is the Twin Trouble theme deck with, of course, Fred and George. And that's the back of that. So let's start with Percy. Okay, so here we've got Percy, open it up, all right, that apparently may be from years of just sitting there like that, but it's a little open already, which is okay. So this is the deck that it comes with, what does the back say, Percy Weasley potions. With the Percy Weasley potions theme deck, you have all the right ingredients for success. You can play the 61 card deck right out of the box. All Percy Weasley potions theme deck contains the same cards. So, okay, all of these ones contain the same. One 61 card deck, including two rares and a special foil card. A card list with deck building tips, a play mat with a card set poster on the back awesome cool so this is the 61 uh card deck that comes ready to play i suppose i haven't played with uh this deck out of the box maybe i'll try to do that have any of you played with the decks just right out of the box like this one so in the intro, I mentioned that it comes with a card that uh, you cannot find just opening the booster boxes, and that would be this card here. So the reason you can't is because it is the Potions Project Chamber of Secrets Uncommon card. However, it is foil. See that? So it's really cool. It's just one of those like unique type cards that people who collect the promos and stuff like that would also collect this card. Uh, again, really unique. You can only find it in this starter deck. So unless you've opened these or come across it in a trade or something, then it's really kind of difficult to find. And then, of course, you have Percy Weasley himself. What does his card do? So it says, at the end of each of your opponent's turns, if he or she played a non-lesson card that turn, he or she takes one damage. I have, I have played with Percy Weasley before. Pretty good. Um, I do like what he's able to do. All right, what's another card we've got? So we've got our lessons. 
One, two, three, four, five. So quite a few. So we've got Transfiguration and Potions. Good combination. Quite a few. All right. We'll put those aside. And we've got Swelling Potion. Silver Cauldron. Potions Homework. Another one. Probably three or four of those. Magical Drafts and Potions. Lost Notes, that's a really good card. Again, I think we opened that one uh, in the base set when I did some pack openings. <laughs> really annoying card, but very good. Another one, Homework. So yeah, you'll notice not all of these are from Chamber of Secrets because it's a deck, right? So like, Although, of course, you can, Chamber of Secrets has amazing cards that you could just have specifically in your deck, but I think for the purpose of this, they're trying to make it a deck that you could play with, so they're trying to switch things up. History of Magic Homework, Forbidden Corridor, Flying Motorbike, Fatiguing Fusion, another one of those. Ooh, Dragon Poison, that's a really good card and a rare. Defendo, Diagon Alley, Death Cap Drought, another one of those, another one of those, Copper Cauldron, Cot, it's a good one, Bruise Wart Balm, another one, Burning Bitterroot Balm, A Beginner's Guide to Transfiguration. A Parisum. Nice. Angel's Trumpet Drought. And that is all. What do you guys think of that deck ready to play for those of you that are pretty familiar with playing the game? Let me know in the comments. All right, so it also comes with this tell us what you think. Uh, I doubt they'll take that now, but that would be fun to send in. And then the card list. So a lot of people collect these um, still, which is, which I absolutely understand why. They're very, very cool. I, like many of you know, I collect pretty much everything from the game. Um, so it comes with a building your own deck um, pamphlet, if you will. So it's actually really cool because it kind of walks you through like what you need. So you got your starting character. Okay. So how to build a deck. Your deck will have 61 cards, one starting character, 26 lessons, 34 other cards. So that's really good advice for beginners. This is, this is actually really, really cool to have. Some people you'll notice in the game, they have, uh, less than 26 lessons. Some, I, I think that that's probably, um, a high number, but not an unreasonable number. I mean, some mo most of my decks have anywhere from like 20 to maybe 22. Some of them actually have less because, you know, I'm a rebel, if you will. Living on the edge. Okay, then it says step two, choose two of these class types for your deck. So you've got each type of lesson that you could have. A good idea is to pick class types of your favorite cards, uh, which is true. Step three, choose 15 cards from your first class type. You should try to pick some cards that need only one or two lessons to play, a lot of cards that need three or four, I'm sorry, three to six lessons to play, and only a few cards that need seven or more lessons to play. Remember, you can't have more than four copies of any one card. This is true. Put the 15 cards here. Choose 15 cards from your second type, put them here. Okay, so then step five says, Choose 13 lesson types from your first class, put them here. Choose 13 lesson types from your second class, put them here. You need four more cards for your deck. Okay, it is a good idea to use adventure cards, but you can also pick any extra character cards to put in your deck. So really cool, it just kind of like breaks it down, a good way of uh, building a deck for a beginner. Absolutely um, awesome. Cool. 
And then what else? It comes with this, so that poster that they were talking about. All right, this is the poster that it comes with, which is awesome. Again, a collector piece. So it says Harry Potter trading card game at the top, and then it has each one of the cards, uh, what they look like listed. Very, very cool. I will probably hang that up whenever I get more room. So now let's move to the other starter deck. The back of this is the same. Uh, I think I showed it in one of the first videos. It's a play mat. So how to play, the instructions are over here. How to play, and then you know you have like the full play mat, which is awesome. All right, guys, here we go. So this is the Twin Trouble theme deck. Let's see what this is about. All right. Also, what I noticed on the very top of the boxes, so it'll just tell you, like, what the um, what the lessons are. So, like, for this one, you know, it said it's got the Transfiguration and Potion. So for the theme deck for the Twins, it has Quidditch. So... Again, these are decks that you can just use straight out of the box, so let's see how good they are. Also, I'm curious, like, like I asked before, if any of you have used these, let me know what you think of them just straight out of the box, and maybe I'll do that on my next gameplay. This one's still sealed, which is cool. All right. So, card list again questionnaire thing let us know what you think and then this is the same uh poster where we've got the different types of cards and then the play mat on the back and this is the deck that comes with the twin trouble so the really cool thing about this deck is similar to the previous one where we had the hollow uncommon potions project in this deck we have the hollow caught by snape Caught by Snape is hands down one of my favorite cards for the art, but also for gameplay. It's absolutely brutal, um, and I think we talked a little bit about that before. But yes, absolutely love Caught by Snape, and I love that it's foil. I do have a couple of these, and um, another just awesome collector piece. Okay, so then of course we've got the Weasley Twins. What do they do? Before each of your turns, if you have an adventure in play, your opponent takes two damage. Nice. And then we've got our Quidditch lessons. I'm assuming 26 since they advised that. All right, then we here we go. We've got Zigzag. Through the flu. Haha, <laughs> right? Through the flu. Into the flu. Anyway, okay. Snape's Bias. Slytherin Steals. Another Slytherin Steals. Quidditch Through the Ages. Quality Quidditch Supplies. Pulling Up. Another Pulling Up. Pep Talk. This is a really good adventure to use for um, an opponent that maybe you know doesn't have um, high power cards in their hand. Uh, so, Or honestly, a lot of people don't have high power cards in their hands. So you don't even have to know the opponent because what this adventure says is the effect is the first action your opponent uses on each of his or her turns must be to draw a card. So essentially, they have to draw a card and they're, they're down in action to do something else. To solve it, your opponent shows you a card from his or her hand with a printed power needed of eight or more. So that's to solve it. So if you have a deck where you don't use expensive cards, you know, like ones that cost seven, eight, nine, ten lessons, uh, then this is a really good one because it kind of slows your opponent down. They can't really do anything else. Um, or if they only have one or two of those cards, as some people do, they only have a couple, then uh, it'll take them longer to solve this. 
Now their reward is they may draw two cards. So not really that great of a reward. It's a pretty good adventure. And we've got, ouch, a couple of those. Locked in. Nice art. Hedwig back there. Napping. Hawk's head formation. Another one of those. Another one. Fouled. Flacking. Double beater defense, which is a rare card. Very cool. Clean sweep five. Another one. Catching apples. Candy cart. That's a really good adventure as well. Pretty annoying. Very good. Bludger in the stands. Bludger bop. Biased commentary. Beater's bat. Another one. And five points from Gryffindor. Sweet. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good uh, deck. I'll be curious to see how it is once I play with it. Uh, again, if you guys have played with these decks, uh, then let me know in the comments how they worked out for you or what you may have changed. And also, if there was a favorite card that was from one of these decks, then let us know as well. And from these special cards, I think I might know the answer, but what is your favorite? We've got the really unique foil caught by Snape and then the foil potions project. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of the Chamber of Secrets display box, as well as which starter deck you like better, whether it was the Percy Weasley or the Twin Trouble. Don't forget to leave a comment if you'd like, and follow my Instagram page at Harry Potter Morrissey.